this video actually serves two purposes. The first one being that this video is going to show you that there's an update available for your Nvidia Shield and you should definitely download it. The second one is going to show you that you can move apps to your SD card and it shows you how to do that. Syncing audio one second. Syncing audio one, two, three. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to restart our Nvidia Shield. This update is supposed to contain important enhancements and bug fixes such as the ability to move apps and game program files to the Nvidia Shield's micro SD card, which is freaking awesome because we have a 64 gigabyte extreme micro SD card by SanDisk and a 16 gigabyte extreme pro micro SD card from SanDisk. Right now the 16 gigabyte extreme pro is in there. So improved mirror cast support for Tegra. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and press restart to install and it's going to reboot us into the stock recovery. Now, if you are rooted, this will install just fine. I am not rooted at the moment. My bootloader is still locked. That it will change very soon. Today, I've just been lazy and watching Fringe and trying to catch up because Season 5 is about to release on Netflix, and I want to watch it. <laughs> I know the show's ended. Just taking a quick break so we can show this picture and get a closer view of the text. But... Whatever. Where is my cleaning cloth? Alright, so now you're actually seeing the crappy camera, my Canon PowerShot, and you're not seeing the capture because it does not capture HDMI while it's in recovery. So I am excited, ecstatic, and kind of freaking out about this update. I was just tweeted about this earlier today about the fact that you can't install apps to the SD card on the Nvidia Shield. And it seems that they have listened and provided us a way of installing apps to our SD card. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. There's no editing here at all. It just quickly shot up like that. Go ahead and clean the screen off here. Oh, and it freaking decided to finish up while I did that. Oh well. No big deal. Nvidia Shield. Alright, so we should be able to capture in a second here. And you'll stop seeing this crappy camera. Bam! There we go, we're back, back online again. Capturing HDMI. This looks so much better than freaking. <laughs> Alright, so our Android is upgrading. Been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. You can get a uh, 64 gigabyte SanDisk Micro Extreme card for about $100. And the speed, the read and write on those are insanely fast. I've actually unboxed mine and I'm going to post that video soon. And I'm going to put it inside the shield, and I'm going to test out how fast the Extreme Pro card is versus the Extreme versus an Ultra. I'm going to do various different testing on, you know, how fast apps launch from a micro SD card on the NVIDIA Shield and the S4. So we're going to see just, you know, is it worth spending $100 on that card that's just going to be used on your Android device? Or should you go ahead and spend $50 on the 64 gigabyte Ultra and... There may not be like a huge dramatic difference. So, this is exciting. This is awesome. So, um, let's go to the About Shield. Alright, so About Shield. It is on build number JOP40D, all those numbers down there. That's about it. So, I'm assuming to update that stuff, we would go to Apps. And then we'd go to a big one, like Asphalt 8, for example. And then look at that. Look at that. Move to SD card. So we are now moving this app to the SD card. Uh, again, I'm going to I'm gonna have different videos showing how fast this game loads. In fact, let's um, see we have 3.8 gigabytes free. Um, let's sort this by app size. And Need for Speed Most Wanted, that's a really big one. Let's move that to the micro SD card. And as you're seeing, it takes no time at all to move that. That is impressive. GTA Vice City, we'll move that to the SD card. Or not. Maybe they block certain apps from doing that. Um, those are all kind of smaller games. We'll do Crazy Taxi. 
Ew, it takes no time at all to move stuff. This is impressive. So this certain game won't let you do it, but everything else is letting you do it just fine. Oh, let's go back to our apps real quick. So now we have 3.9 gigs free. This is pretty impressive. This is awesome. Now let's um, open up Asphalt and see if it loads any faster. Now I don't, obviously I can't really compare that well because I don't have, like I'm not, I don't have them side by side. I'd have to move it back to the shield and see how quick, but that seemed to load it up pretty quick. See how quickly this loads. Alright, so it doesn't seem like there's like a huge dramatic, you know, difference. Of course, I'd have to do a side-by-side -side review and comparison of, you know, how fast it is. So, expect that here in the next coming weeks. So, definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, so we can move apps to the SD card. All that searching for GPS is no longer there. So, apparently it only shows up for a second. I don't... Uh, game mode beta, better game performance. You can turn that on. Searching for wireless displays. I do not have any at the moment. Controller. That's all the same. LED brightness. Pulse LED. Oh, what, what was that? Pulse LED when device is asleep. I thought it was for notification. So HDMI. Not much different than before. Uh, you can see my 16 gig card in there right now. That's about it. I don't know what else to show you. Uh, you can move apps to the SD card. That's the biggest uh, change and update to this update. <laughs> From your home screen, all you got to do is drag down this right side of your screen. Go to settings. Go to your apps down here. And then uh, if you want to move your biggest apps, which I recommend, I recommend keeping some on your internal, especially the smaller ones. But as far as like the really big ones, like Need for Speed Most Wanted and Asphalt, GTA Vice City, I don't know why you can't move that one, but you can't. It's a crazy taxi. I went ahead and moved that one as you saw earlier. Like I can go ahead and move um, this one right here. I play this game quite a bit actually. My username on there is www.joshdew if you want to add me because you there's a spot to add friends on shadow gun dead zone and then dead trigger instagram this is pretty awesome but that's it i'm not gonna make this video any longer if you enjoyed it please make sure you give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it if you do that for me if you're new to my channel please make sure you don't leave this video without hitting the subscribe button on the bottom left of your screen it'll notify you when i post future videos of my nvd shield like my review which is still coming i know it's been a while but it is still coming i've just been backed up on videos and requests and also, I'm going to be unlocking it and rooting it. I want to do that tomorrow, but we'll see. So, yeah. I mean, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Links to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Vine, pretty much everything will be in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.